You brought up something interesting um, uh, just a minute ago when you were explaining this about um, not uh, about providing uh, shooting limited amounts of shots. So not necessarily getting the traditional coverage that one may expect. Um, talk to me about that decision and how that impacts the entire show, because you are essentially when when you're given less options to the editor you, I'm guessing, have, it allows you to have more time to do what you want to do? Like, what's the trade-off there? Well, I think one of the things it allows for, or just by nature, is like, it gives, it gives me and the director control over the edit, Mm. and therefore control over the show, like, in in a really, in a really just, I mean... It's risky, but I, I think that's my per, my preference is to shoot the show and bake the look in and bake the cut in in the way you shoot it on the set on the day because like that's where the movie that's where it's really made. I mean, um, yeah, that's like I, I you know that's a whole other thing. It's like prep versus shooting, <laughs> but um, as what far as the as far as the shooting of it, like. Yeah, I get to leave, me and the director get to like really leave our mark on it by the coverage, by um, the very the specificity of the shots. And we talk about the editing on set. So it's not like something we're just leaving, leaving, you know, hoping that it'll work. We're like, no, this, this scene opens with this shot. Uh, you know, we, we ended the last scene with this wide frame. So let's start on this close up. Let's pull out. Let's pan over. So we really, I mean, when you shoot a shot like that, there's no B camera. There's no, there's no uh, covering your back really because it would it would mess up the entire like rhythm of the cutting. Mm. So you know we're thinking about rhythm. We're thinking about story. We're thinking about uh, composition and juxtaposition of shots. We think about all those things and on set, and then we execute it. And it's just like that's. That's how you leave your mark on the show, I think. Now, you'd mentioned that being risky. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? Oh, I mean, because, you know, you get a call from the studio like, oh, well, you're not getting enough coverage constantly. I mean, that's that's a big thing that I constantly hear. But, you know, I mean, enough enough coverage for one person might be like, you know, for us, it's like, oh, it's a good thing. For them, it's like, oh, we we need options. We need options. We need options. And Mm. I totally understand that. And I think that there are scenes, you just kind of have to know when to do that and when not to do that, when to cover a scene heavily and when to just commit to your one or two or three shots, you know? So that, is that, is that a common thing that happens? Like do, do cinematographers always kind of want to have a little bit more control over the edit by way of limiting the amount of shots is that like kind of a common tug of war between studio and, and DPs? I think it is. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. I think it's also directors too. Um, sometimes directors will be very much on your side with that, but sometimes it, you know, a lot of it comes down to like, you know, do we, do we run a B camera every single shot? And I say, no, usually I'm like, no, it doesn't, we don't need it. It doesn't work. But sometimes it's it's great. It's like yeah, that that's a great option to have that 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 extra shot or that extra angle, um, or maybe it's something that's like really a little bit more weird and avant garde, and you want to just have them try it. And if you if it works, great. If it doesn't, if it's like a punctuation mark for the scene, that's cool. If it doesn't, I make the edit. I'm fine with that. Um, but but yeah, I, I do think it is a constant thing that you have to battle. And and I think part of it the thing the tricky thing with TV is you don't you, you sign on as a cinematographer, you sign on to a whole project and and you don't really know who your director is gonna be. Most of the time you don't. And that for me is the biggest risk because because I, you know, I'm, I'm just working with a director I've never worked with before. I don't know their style. I don't know if they're going to try to make me shoot the thing 
in a way that I don't want to shoot it or the way that I don't think is right for the show or they'll make me do a bunch of extra coverage or et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, yeah, I think it is a constant battle as far in, in, in a lot of different ways, not just with the studio, but sometimes it's with directors that you don't know who want to shoot it in a different way than, than you want to shoot it. But, you know, a lot of directors will kind of defer to you because you are, you know, you've been there longer, you've shot the, you know, you've developed the show, you've, you've shot two episodes already, whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, it's a battle. 